Hi, first grade. Today we will be doing a math lesson and I will be sharing my screen with you. So when I get into the Pearson website, you'll see me kind of shrink up into a little box in the corner and then you'll get to do your math lesson. After we have finished the math lesson, you are going to log into PearsonRealize.com and you are going to complete the interactive practice buddy and the quick check for 13.1. Oops get started. So now you should see me up in your corner. Today you will be learning about how to tell the value of coins and your I can statement is I can identify coins and tell their value. We're going to watch your visual learning video first. is a coin. A penny has a value of one cent. This is the symbol for cent. There are 100 pennies in one dollar. Here are three other coins. There are 20 nickels in one dollar. How many dimes are in one dollar? Select your answer. So we know that a dime is worth 10 cents. Remember, this little symbol means cents. So if we know that a dollar is worth 100 pennies, and each dime has 10 pennies in it, how many dimes are in one dollar? Is it going to be 20 dimes or 10 dimes? I know a dime is worth 10 cents, so I'm going to count by tens to get to 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. There are 10 tens in 100, so I know my answer is 10 dimes. There are 10 dimes in $1. There are 10 dimes in $1. There are four quarters in one dollar. So the vocabulary that we learned during this video were penny, nickel, dime, quarter. So there are 100 pennies in a dollar, 20 nickels in a dollar, 10 dimes in a dollar, and four quarters in a dollar. So normally, we would do this part together in your, our small groups, but since you guys are at home, I'm going to do it and kind of talk you through it, and you're going to show me what you know in your quick check. So I'm going to look at this coin, and the first question it asks is the name of a coin. I see that this is a small silver coin with a face on it, and I know my silver coins are nickel, dime, and quarter. Quarter and nickel are bigger than a dime, so I'm going to say this is a dime. A dime is worth 10 cents, and there are 10 dimes in a dollar. Next is number two, and it asks for the no name of the coin. I see that it's a bronze color, so I know right away that the only choice would be penny. How much is a penny worth? The value of a penny is one cent. And how many pennies are in a dollar? I know that there are 100 pennies in a dollar. These will be similar questions to what you will have on your quick check. So make sure that you are paying attention. We are first going to circle every quarter. So I know a quarter is silver. I know it's bigger than a dime and a nickel. So I see a quarter here. This would be a good time to kind of take out all that change that you have in piggy banks or mom and dad's purse and kind of compare and contrast and look at all the coins. 
how much is a quarter worth? I know that there are four quarters in a dollar and that they are worth 25 cents. A quarter is worth 25 cents. There are blank quarters in a dollar. How many quarters are in a dollar? If you said four quarters are in a dollar, you are right. Number four, circle every coin with a value of five cents. I know that a coin that is worth five cents is called a nickel. And I know that nickels look like this. They are silver. They have a building on the back. So all of these are nickels. And whoop, I already answered the first part of this question. A nickel, and because I'm using my teacher pen, I know that I'm not gonna fit nickel on there, so I'm just gonna write it off to the side. How many nickels are in a dollar? So to figure this out, we would count by fives all the way to 100. So if I count 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, that's 10, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, that's 20. There are 20 nickels in one dollar. Number five says, Mark has six dimes. How many more dimes does he need in order to have one dollar? So I know that six dimes is equal to 60 cents. It's just like having six tens. So 60, uh, or 60 is what I have and I need to get to 100. So I'm gonna put 60 in my brain and say 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So that was four more dimes that I need in order to get to 100. Our last one says, Beth has a stack of nickels worth a dollar. And if I look back to my problem before, I know that 20 nickels equals a dollar. She also has a stack of quarters that are worth a dollar. And if I look up here, I know four quarters is worth a dollar. How many coins does she have in all? So if I use the information already on my page, I know that all I need to do to figure out how many coins Beth has is add 20 plus four. And 20 plus four, we can do that in our brains. It's 24. All right, first grade, that is lesson 13.1. Make sure that you log into PearsonRealize.com and you complete the interactive practice buddy and the quick check for 13.1. A few of you may still have the cumulative um, benchmark assessment for topics one and 12. So go on ahead and do that too so that you can clear out all the old assignments on your Pearson site. See you later.